In previous lessons, I showed you how we can use freehand control to change the basic appearance of the elements. And you might have noticed that every time we make a change, blocks automatically created the class for us. When we change the margin to the image, it creates a class. When we, let's say, adjust the size of the text, it creates the class for us. And this class is basically the style for this element. When we want to reset the style to default one, all we need to do is just remove this custom class. Let me give you another example. So let's say we want to adjust this image, we want to make it smaller, and we want to add some rounded corners. So when we duplicate this column, this the item inside, both of these images will have the same image custom class applied. You can see it here. But if we want to reset it, we can just delete it and you will see that the image without custom class will be again the square default image we had before. It is great that blocks automatically creates these styles for us, but we can also do that manually. All we need to do is to select the element we want to change. So for example, let's select this image and here in the classes box, just type the name. I will name this elder thumbnail. And if I click on this class, I will open the custom class editor and here I can change a lot of things. I will not cover everything we can do in this video, but if you want to learn more, check out the Mastering Blocks free course we have on blocksmaster.com. So let's say that we want to add some border to this image, let's say 10 pixel border, we will make it solid and let's make it white. So we will select the white color and I will also add some shadow. So I will go here and create the little shadow for this image. So when we are ready, we can just click done and now we have this elder thumbnail style saved. Next time we want to use this style, it can be any image on our website. So for example, let's say we want to add this style to this image, we can just select it I will remove the old style and type the class we created. So Eldar thumbnail and as you can see we have the same borders and the shadow. And we can add this class to as many elements as we want, for example this image here. And the most beautiful thing about it is that we can open this class on any element and all of the changes we apply here will be synced across the all elements which has this class applied. So for example, let's add some margin here. And as you can see, the space is being applied to all of the images which has this class. 